Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here in a very sunny Fairhaven area of uh, Lytham. Uh, you might recognise this place because I've actually been here before um, to photograph the moon over the white church here behind me. Well, I've come back to do the same thing again. Yeah, so if you look down there, you can see the white church there. And uh, I'm going to be attempting to photograph the snow moon, the full snow moon coming up over the white church. Okay, so as usual, I have used the photographer's ephemeris app to plan this shot of the moonrise above the white church. And just down here on the screen, you can see it shows you all the times here, the sunset time and the moonrise time. Now notice that the moon rises around about eight minutes after the sunset tonight. And that means that we know that the, the moon is going to be rising inside the shadow of the earth. And uh, we also need to wait a little while before we can see the moon because it's going to probably take until after six o'clock. It's going to need to be about one degree above the horizon before we start to see it. And remember that the moon is about half a degree in diameter. So it needs to be about two moon widths high before we can see it from here. Except so this time I'm going to be doing things slightly different. I'm going to be using a longer focal length. I'm going to be using my telescope this time to take the photograph. And I'll also be using this video to show you the amazing belt of Venus effect that you get when the sun sets. That pink sky that you get with the Earth's shadow underneath it. We will be able to see that tonight. It's going to look absolutely amazing and I want to be able to show that in this video. I didn't quite do it in the last video when I was here, but I'll do it in this one. We'll be able to see the pink belt of Venus and the Earth's shadow rising as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, the moon will actually be rising in the shadow of the earth and that it's going to be absolutely amazing. Look at this. Wow. So many people. Yeah, so we're actually about 45 minutes away, so I'm going to be setting up shortly. Um, I want to try and capture the moon as it rises. Probably the moon rises at about five to six and I'm looking to capture it very very soon after it rises because the trick tonight is that the moon rises after the sun sets so i don't want to be too long before i capture it otherwise the light might be too low on the church yeah i'll just show you around so we're by the lake here fairhaven lake here in the ansdell area kind of near lytham not quite in between lytham and st Anne's. look at this boss around here you know Right, okay, this is looking really, really good. I've just set my telescope up now. I'll show you how it's all set up. Just check out that amazing sunset. I'm going to have to take a picture of that. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, I'll show you what I've got set up here now. Loads of people along here, loads of people interested in what I'm doing. So here I've got the telescope here. This is a William Optics refractor, which you've seen in my videos. And you've seen I've got my camera attached to it there and I've got this thing here the cable release which is important because I don't want to touch the, the camera when I'm taking the photograph I've got it lined up on the church over there I'll just zoom into the church so that you can see the church is looking really good I've got this camera down here for recording the belt of Venus so I'll, I'll record a time lapse of that Okay, so I've turned the telescope around and it's facing the sun now. I'm taking some pictures of the spectacular sunset. It's absolutely amazing. No need for filters because the sun is so low down. Check this out. Look at that. I'll put some pictures on the screen now. starting can you see over here I'll show you the video from the, uh, the camera on the tripod can you see over there we've got a nice pink sky over there the church looks to be in the shadow now because the Sun has set so that that shadow now will be rising you can watch that rise and you can see the pink bit of sky just above that and then you've got the blue above that uh, the pink part of the sky is where the sun is shining through the Earth's atmosphere. 
Yeah, so now that the sun has set, it won't be long before the moon starts to pop up. So I better get the telescope put back on the church again. Yeah, we're getting a bit of an audience here now. It won't be long. So now that the sun has set, like I said, I've got the camera back on. As you can see, I've got it back on the church again now. I'm just going to have to dial the exposure up a bit there. The exposure I'm using is, I'm just going to keep twiddling it. I'm using manual. Can you see there? It's very slow. It's only one tenth of a second, unless I bump up the ISO. I might bump up the ISO to be on the safe side because it's going to get a bit darker yet. I want to make sure that the moon, that we can see the church as well as the moon. I don't want the church to be too dark. The slight problem tonight is that the moon will need a bit of time to rise. And as, as it rises, it's going to get a little bit darker. So hopefully we'll get a decent shot, but it probably might have been better last night to get the balance of the, the, the two. The, the moon and the church, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's a five hundred mil. It's getting closer. Yeah, it's, it's getting closer. <laughs> We're all waiting for the moon to come up now. Look at that pink sky over there and the earth shadow. Isn't it amazing? Now the moon is actually up now, um, but we need to wait until about six o'clock. It's about probably five to five to six. It'll probably be six o'clock before we start to see it. So, uh, yeah, uh, we'll wait and see. Okay, so we're now past six o'clock and we've not seen the moon yet. There's no sign of it yet, but it won't be too long. It's above the horizon. It's getting towards one degree above the horizon. Now these buildings over here are probably about one degree high. So we're probably not going to see it just yet because the buildings are in the way, but it won't be long. Okay, we've just spotted the moon. I have just spotted the slither of the moon sticking up above one of the towers on the church, the left-hand tower, the very first sighting we've got. In fact, I can't see it with my camera because the angle is just not quite right at the moment, but uh, I might need to move a little bit because um, I might need to be a bit further along to get it behind the church. It's a little bit frantic. I've had to move the camera because I wanted to get the ideal shot. I had to move the camera onto the road um, because I wanted to get the moon in a particular position. Anyway, I've got to keep shooting. <laughs> Look at this. Mom, I'm famous. Yeah. How about that? Hey. Okay. I had to move the camera a few times because I wanted to get the moon in a particular position. But uh, yeah, there you go. I did it again. Yeah, okay. Look at this, absolutely amazing. Yeah, and we had a crowd build up as well for the moon. Yeah, how about that? Absolutely amazing. You can see it behind me there, just above the church. The problem now is that the light on the foreground on the church has dropped off so much that we're struggling to balance the exposure of the moon and the foreground. So I think I've actually finished taking the pictures. Well, there you go. That was the moonrise over the white church at Lytham and the belt of Venus. Absolutely amazing. Just look at this scene now. It's now too dark to capture the foreground with the moon. It looks really, really nice, but you can only really capture the foreground if you really overexpose the moon. But I got the shots. Absolutely amazing as it rose between those two turrets there. It looked absolutely spectacular. It was a bit frantic because I had to pick up the tripod and move because it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. And um, moving gave me the chance to get more photographs of it um, as it was coming up absolutely amazing yeah so there you go that's it for the moonrise here from fairhaven over the white church and the belt of venus i'll leave you with the photographs and maybe a little bit of uh, video from today and i'll also put the settings on as well anyway i hope you like the video and if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i will see you again next time